Atheists, do you, did you know that most of Christianity is, is like, we have a relationship with God, one that God is actively participating in. We know God. That's why one of the old Baptist hymns is, I was blind, but now I see. Because we was blind. Right? We was blind. We, we didn't know God. Right? It, it, once you experience salvation, and this is, what do you, Atheists come to believe, and when I say, the reason why I say you atheists, why I say you Christians sometimes, so I don't want to get confused. I'm not talking down to Christians. When I say you atheists, it's I'm, talk, I'm talking down to you. <clears throat> I'm going to treat you atheists how you treat Christians, but I'm going to do it way better. I'm going to go way over the top. Right? You atheists. When I, I say that because I'm talking down to you. Right? We know God. We know God. We have a relationship with God that God is actively participating in. So just because you can't fathom you know, how special it is to have a relationship with God, it's not meaning that we don't have a relationship with God. God actively partic we, we feel God's love. That's one of the things y'all like to make fun of Christians for believing in a God who loves them. And so essentially you are making fun of Christians for being genuinely happy people. And that's why most atheists are miserable people. Marilyn Manson is like the... the the, the poster boy for atheists because the reason why Marilyn Manson admitted his, his grandmother died because somebody died in his family he became an atheist but, so he became and this is the moral story with you atheists that's why you're fucking retarded most atheists become atheists out of anger and frustration Jim Jeffries I'm not going to come at you sideways because believe it or not you're a uh, Jesus is Jesus He's been doing some crappy stuff too because atheists, a lot of atheists are how Jim Jeffries used to be. You know, he, he said that he would always wind up in a party in the corner saying, You're a fucking idiot, mate. But Jim Jeffries, he'll, he'll, he'll call himself an idiot. Hey, but Jim Jeffries, you're, you're going to heaven whether you like it or not. You're, you're a, I don't I want to say false prophet, you're a, you're an atheist prophet. Jesus got control of you. That's why. You talk about love so much, and that's why the jokes directly about God aren't that insulting. Like they skirt around it. Like Jesus saved your ass. He's setting up like a like a bumper cart stuff. Anyway, anyway, atheists, we have an active relationship with God. Active, one that He participates in. You don't. That's why you don't see God working in your life. But does that mean? That, that, that you are the shame Christians because they have a relationship with God? Well, yeah, if you're trying to compensate for the fact that you feel in love, but that doesn't justify your actions. That doesn't make your actions justified. That's just why you do it. It's because you feel in love. And a lot of you atheists become atheists like Marilyn Manson. I, I love that. It's kind of like New Yorkers. I, I said that New Yorkers hate the poor. Well, that could be left up to debate except for the fact that you find the right one and they'll tell you. Exactly the same way with atheists. Atheists, a lot of atheists believe in God. They just call themselves an atheist because they're frustrated at God. Well, Satan is the reason why you have your problems. Right? God is good and good only. Now, now, Jesus, as of right now, Jesus enforces, he, Jesus has all power and authority in heaven and on earth. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have one main talking point in the video, but I'm going to fact, just pound you with facts. But then I'm going to have one main talking point for the week, which is very fact. But Jesus has all power and authority on heaven and on earth right now. So all that shit y'all talking about Jesus, what you need to know is Jesus is executing the, the law of fairness. If you atheists, you believe in karma, which would require, a lot of atheists believe in karma, which would require a supreme being. Y'all just attribute it to the universe, like the law of attraction. So you atheists, your main belief, you believe in the law of attraction. You stupid fucking idiot. The law of attraction will require a conscious supreme being. But the reason why atheists believe in principles that require a conscious supreme being, right, the reason why atheists believe in principles that require a conscious supreme being, but they don't believe in God, is because they want the God part without the fact that they have to treat people like humans. Right? Atheists, if atheists had it their way, God would have no rules. Right? Well, this is the problem. God got rules. Because God is good and God demands that you treat people how you want to be treated. But you and atheists, y'all don't like that part. Y'all don't like 
fact that God demands that you treat people how you want to be treated. Why? Because you atheists are a piece of fucking shit, and you want to get away with being a piece of shit. I had to break it to you whether you believe in God or not. He's real. You atheists want to, you atheists want to be a piece of shit free card. You want to be hateful people. Well, since y'all want to be like that, I get a, I get a free pass. And Eminem gets one too. If he hurries up, he get one too. Me and Eminem are the only asshole free pass. I'm not an asshole, I'm a dick. So, hey, if, so, hey, I'm going to constantly remind you that your leader is a liar. Right? And why Christians preach to you is to try to save you from your leaders who are a liar. Christians have your best interest at heart. Your leaders want to exploit you for everything they can get from you. I have your best interest at heart. Unless you're an extremist atheist, and then I don't. If you're an extremist atheist and talk shit about Jesus Christ and his sacrifice, I, I want to humble you, and I hope you go to hell after that. Because I love my Lord. Oh, I'm fine. You have a nice day. I love my Lord Jesus Christ with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength. And if all y'all, if y'all don't spend y'all day talking shit about Jesus Christ, well then, hey, I ain't, I ain't got no problem. I, I, I watch y'all go to hell and laugh at you being tortured in hell. Because right? I love Jesus Christ with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength. And y'all talk shit about Jesus. And the joke's on you. You talk shit about Jesus, but you don't even believe in Jesus. You talk shit about God, but you don't. Hey, hey, anybody watching this, have you ever had, have you ever had an altercation with somebody you don't believe in? With somebody you don't believe exists? You ever had a fuss with somebody you don't believe in? You look crazy as hell. That's how crazy you atheists look. Because you're not atheist out of, out of, atheist out of anger and frustration because you blame your fuck-ups on God. You blame your own fuck-ups on God. You blame the shit that happened, like Marilyn Manson come out his, his, his family member dies, and then now that, hey, well, hey, Marilyn Manson, I don't give, people die. I don't give a good goddamn. Marilyn Manson, people die. And honestly, if you're that quick to switch up, if you're that quick to switch up, then, hey, I'm glad you, I'm glad that relative died. I hope more of your relatives die, Marilyn Manson. I hope more of your relatives die. You want to talk shit about my God? And you want to influence other people to talk shit about my God? Well, I'm going to talk shit about y'all, the people you love then. How about that? Fuck you and your relatives, Marilyn Manson. Y'all want to, and this is how, this is how y'all try to make it. So y'all slander Christians. Hey, if it wasn't for Christians, but homeless people wouldn't eat in most, in most states. In most states, homeless people, or Christians provide all the food homeless people eat. Y'all want to talk shit about Christians like they ain't doing the right thing? But if it wasn't for Christians, most homeless people wouldn't eat, bro. Most homeless people wouldn't eat. Y'all don't want to hear that because then y'all got to accept the fact that Christians are good people. Do you know that Christians are, are actively... Hey, when's the last time you did for something? I had a blackmail, y'all, atheist here in New York. But karma just gets money out of y'all. I'm a homeless veteran right now. The reason why I know I'm about to be famous, the reason why I'm talking like this, is because my God is with me. And I have faith in my God. And that's the type... I have faith in God's promise. God, I don't have faith in if God's real or not, because I, I have a relationship with God. He actively participates in it. That's why y'all atheists don't understand. I'm going to feed it into y'all's head. I have a relationship with God that he actively participates in. That he actively participates in. That's, that's what you don't understand, atheists.